Hanging over their heads is the burden of reaching past excellence. Every win is measured against their previous accomplishments. We're not doing the things that made us a great team last season, and we're just not playing hard enough to win. Uh, what the public and what the media is expecting and what they've seen in the past is us blowing out teams and us dominating teams. It's not happening right now. After struggling in the opener, the Bulls lost game two. Along with battling the Hawks, do the Bulls struggle with lofty expectations or complacency? Even worse, do the Bulls struggle with each other? We've got to have a bigger effort. We gotta have a big effort from Dennis. We gotta avoid the technical fouls that, that Dennis is getting, and he gotta play. He just gotta play the game and stop looking for the fans to give him the uplift and just play. Dennis hasn't really given us the effort that he's given us throughout the course of the season. I think that's obvious. You know, when I'm doing all the rebounding, he's not. I think that if he's not gonna lead us in rebounding, don't lead us in technical fouls. Are the Bulls starting to come apart? They've lost home court advantage of the series along with their aura of invincibility. I'm not ready to push the panic button yet. I advise you guys not to do that either. Now questions surround the defending champions. Will they have the answers? This is the NBA on NBC. The 1997 NBA Playoffs. And perhaps expended too much energy in going to the boards and also following Mookie Blade off the round. Michael Jordan with a tough angle jump shot for a 2-0 Chicago lead. I noticed with a... All right, Marvin, the funny thing, when you just saw that interaction between Michael Jordan and Steve Smith, Michael was telling me that Steve actually was trying to con him during the game. Up Every time up and down the court, he asked him, hey, what kind of car are you driving to the game of the day? Next thing you know, he'd be holding him on the other end. So Michael said he couldn't get caught up in that. He'd have to be real physical against him today. Marv? Was due to trying to do so much in the fourth quarter of game number two, and Michael 0 for 6 from three-point land in that one. And Michael almost got hurt on that play as he was sandwiched by Dikembe Mutombo and Christian Leitner and almost had his feet taken out from under. And Dennis Rodman has also checked in. Michael Jordan with his second field goal. It's two of six. And the Bulls now lead by three. And uh, Dennis shots with the good defense by Chicago. Eight points for Michael Jordan. And Williams setting the screen. Here's Jordan. Michael getting better shots now. After they were trailing, and then the Hawks put it away. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan gets the third quarter. Going with, the, well, Scotty Pippen with the block shot. And Jordan gets the call on the continuation. They say he was fouled before he got into the act of shooting. Made the change at first the indication that the basket counted. The foul was called. Free throw line for his foul shots number three and four. Now his fourth quarter, a different story. Overall, just three of 13, not able to do it the other night. In game seven rebounds for Michael Jordan. Pippen with the room. Scotty Pippen. Matumbo. Pippen. Pushing down, Pippen all the way. Oh, what a move. Scotty Pippen going the distance, and he's tied the game at 62. Ready? Jordan putting moves on Smith, and then able to hang to hit that jumper. Uh, Michael is getting closer and closer to attacking the rim. All the Michael finding a little crease in the defense, easily getting by Steve Smith, getting up, hanging in the air, an extra second as Matumbo just never got there. But now Mubelak forcing him away from the middle and getting help from his teammates. Here, yes, and you can hear the. Bulls contingent here at the Omni. Lot. Well, Michael Jordan has gotten himself one in the lane here using the high screen from Luke Longley to get himself free. Matumbo unable to get out there and show big enough. And Michael Jordan feeling it when he gets in that little home run trot backwards. 
you know he wants the ball every time down. But as I said, Tony Ku, coach of Brian Williams. Brian Williams still fade away. Push for again, keep it alive, and George converts. So the Bulls lead by 11. This is the biggest lead they've had. Kerr surprised by that pass. Kukoc has to pop it. Pippen. Like Steve Smith hurt his hand. And the Hawks fall for time. And the foul is called on Kukoc. That is his uh, fourth. You get the idea that uh, Dennis is a wrap for today? <laughs> The bright lights of the Omni just doing all kinds of damage to Dennis, but he was a very vocal enthusiast on the bench for Chicago throughout this second half as the rest of the team was really into it, realizing who coach forging Henderson for the steal and then leads Pippen. The Bulls 94. And the Hawks, 76. Well, Tony could be high testing and really wasn't sure if he would be able to continue in the series, making a valuable contribution today. Down to 15 seconds. Oh. Leading Williams. One of the many factors killing the Hawks, the turnover situation, 19 in all, 8 in the fourth quarter. And time has run out. Bouncing back in very strong fashion as they defeat the Atlanta Hawks 100 to 80 here at the Omni. And now leave the series two games to one. Let's go to Ahmad with Michael Jordan. All right, thanks, Marv. The series 1 1 coming into this game. A lot of people thought this was a desperation game. Did you guys feel that way? We felt we had to come back and, and, put, and show that we can play better than what we played the other night. And we haven't really played that well. In the, uh, in the playoffs at all, but we know we're a better basketball team than what we have shown. and So I don't I don't consider that to be a desperation. We just wanted to prove that we can still play the game of basketball like we know how to play it. You had uh, said before the game that you needed everybody to step up on this team. You got to feel good because today it seemed like all the guys stepped up. Yeah, I think it, you know, our bench really came in and supported, you know, when we really needed it. And, you know, that's what this team is all about. That's how we became champions, when everybody could contribute at certain, get, at certain times in the game. And tonight was, you know, no different. And there was no panic on your part. You seem to be well in control of yourself. Everybody coming out here ready to play. We all were in control. We were not panicking like most people were and we know it's just one game, one loss and we can get ourselves right back in, in position to control this series and, and we did that today. Alright, so then tomorrow I'll see you back here. We'll do it again? Yeah, I look forward to it. Alright. Over to you, Marv. Michael's the one looking forward. Jordan with 21 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, and the Hawks have been quieted by the Bulls.